You're about to lose your hearing if you don't stop this now. Number one, exposure to loud sounds for extended period. Have you ever come out of an event venue and couldn't hear well for several minutes or hours? Probably it was a studio or a church or an environment with um, loud sounds played for a long period of time. I've had my own share of experience. Um, I attended an event early this year in my hometown and the only seat available were the ones in front of the speakers. Imagine. And I'm talking about two full range speakers with two subwoofers at full sound blasting just directly towards me. I almost went deaf, my brother. You see, a whole lot of us don't even find this disturbing. I mean, it doesn't affect us. We are used to this kind of sound. We do this all the time and we're so used to it that we don't see anything wrong or bad about this. I discovered that an average music concert sound should be around 120 dB. I mean, humans are able to hear from around 0 to 160 dB, but however, anything above 90 dB is harmful to the ears. You go for a concert that has over 10 artists who are all performing very loud music and you're in the concert hall for over 3 to 5 hours. Imagine the damage you're doing to your ears. You see, your ears are very important assets to music. You need your ears the same way you need your voice. So if you are a singer, a musician, or a music lover who has to be in this kind of environment several times in a week, I am very sorry. You probably would have had some form of hearing loss if you haven't done anything to protect against it. And I mean, this is not just about concerts or church music. If you work in a company or environment that has the same, you know, dilemma, you need to watch it because you might be damaging your hearing too. Number two, excessive use of audio gears. Oh, this was my advice some years ago, you know, I wore earphones all the time, everywhere I went. I mean, the volume of my earphones were usually so loud that people around me could literally hear the music bleeding out. Yeah, it was that bad. Sometimes even my device would warn me with a pop-up icon when I'm about to turn up the volume to its maximum. That's 100%. Still, I know the same. I will still increase it. You know, I needed to feel the music in its glory, you know. And um, I didn't want to miss a single detail either. Even while talking with some person, sometimes I will have music playing one ear. And this was my habit for many years till I came across an article by a guitarist in his mid-40s who developed tinnitus because of the constant use of in-ear phones. I mean, tinnitus is a condition where you hear constant or occasional ringing or buzzing sound in one or both ears. And I mean, this guy couldn't even play music for some time. I mean, it sounds crazy. This was my reality check, you know, I had to take drastic measures and oh boy, did I really overcome this? Don't ask me. But please try and protect your earrings. Thank you so much. And if you found this video very important and helpful, do well to drop a like, a comment. And if you've not subscribed, do well to smash the subscribe button till I come your way next time. Thank you so much. Love you all.